So it's Labor Day and it's a perfect day to do a video, especially one that calls out Senator Jeff Flake on his, um, his positions, excuse me, here, um, his positions and his backing of Gary Johnson as a candidate for president. Um, Gary Johnson's an independent, so that must mean that Jeff Flake is an independent, although it says he's a Republican on his website. Um, he also claims to be a Republican, yet he wants to back Hillary Clinton in this election, not Donald Trump, who is the Republican nominee. So one of the key issues that uh, Jeff Flake was specific about was border immigration, and that he was against Donald Trump's wall and everything that Donald Trump has said about security and things like that. And so I actually, what I did was I went to the senator's website, see, website, Jeff Flake, and looked up the immigration section and read this part here. You'll find this interesting. Jeff Flake, excuse me, Senator Flake, believes there are four elements are needed to ensure that our immigration system is workable and robust. Strong border security, a legal immigration system that encourages economic growth, a temporary worker program to provide for future labor needs, and strengthened employment verification standards to prevent the hiring of illegal immigrants. Isn't that amazing? Donald Trump wants a border wall to replace the border fence, which looks like Swiss cheese now, thereby enhancing or making stronger border security. Wow, Senator, seems like you guys have some things in common. Donald Trump wants a way to um, allow people to come in and work legally. That means that, you know, they get the proper paperwork and things uh, so that they're legal and not criminals. Um, he wants to be able to offer them the ability to gain citizenship if they go back to their country of origin, whether it's Mexico or Venezuela or South America or whatever, and then come back through the legal channels, not bypassing the line of people that have gotten in line to get their papers legally. In other words, the quote-unquote dreamers that you are vouching for, those kids or whatever that came across the border illegally when they were two years old or whatever, they came across illegally. You're missing the point. There is a line for people to get into. I know. I was one of those people. I am a legal immigrant. I got my citizenship. Those people are not any better than me. They've come across illegally. Send them back. There are people already in line. Let them get behind those people. That's what lines are for, right? When you go to a movie theater and there's a line of ticket holders there who already have their tickets and you have no ticket, do you jump to the front of the line without perhaps getting tackled to the ground and beaten to a pulp? Absolutely not. You go get your ticket and you go to the back of the line. That's all Donald Trump is saying. You came here illegally. That does not give you the right to all of a sudden jump to the head of the citizenship line. The citizenship process needs to be revamped. Totally agreed, but no cuts. And <clears throat> let's see, strengthen employment verification standards. Donald Trump wants a E-Verify ID for all people coming into the country. Agreed. So where are the disagreements, Senator Jeff Flake? Are there any real disagreements? No. You're just pissed that a guy who's not a politician has gotten into the race, has won the nomination fair and square, has beaten all of the other candidates for a reason, because the American people want change. My suggestion to you, Senator, is if you don't like America and you don't want change, pack your bags and leave, because we want people who are part of the solution, not part of the problem back the party's nominee is the right thing to do. Thank you for listening.